It's time for us heading north, Central Footy League. Uh, and, uh, well, it's disappointment as all of our competitions are that we're not playing. But Ricky Allen, he's a man that uh, keeps his composure no matter what. And he joins us now. G'day, Ricky. How are you? Yeah, going well, Wayne. It could always, um, yeah, it's disappointing. But where we're living uh, in the part of Victoria or Australia, I think we're pretty well off. And uh, a bit of fresh air sort of does you the world of good. And, yeah, just thinking of everyone else who is, isn't doing it um, as well or as easy lockdown in a small apartment down in Melbourne would be pretty tough. So uh, we've got it pretty easy up here, I reckon. Pretty easy. I'll tell you what, um, uh, still would adhere to the conditions um, uh, of this and stay uh, in your homes and so forth unless you've got um, the business that you need to conduct and uh, obviously that, um, that one person to go into the shops and so forth. But let's um, have a look at last week's footy matches, Ricky, and I'm going to say this, the Sea Lake Nandali Tigers, they were confronted by Birch of Watching the previous week and poor old Charlton at home faced an absolute um, juggernaut. Up until half time, they were right in it, but uh, gee, the Tigers are a good side. Yeah, they are, Wayne. Yep. Uh, yeah, to get, as we spoke about, I didn't ever think it was going to be a blowout just for the way that Charlton set up behind the ball. Um, so, like, have no Sullivan out of the side. Um, yeah, so Joel Donnan um, would have had to shoulder a lot of the work. So, uh, another good win to see, like, and they just sort of keep on keeping on, getting back on the winner's list. Um, yeah, Trent Donnan, Luke Martin, Simpson, all in their best players. For Charlton McKenzie, who's the ruckman, um, yeah, he obviously would have set them up throughout the game. Uh, ben Walkwaite and uh, Sammy O'Connor, their best players as well. So, yeah, good win to see Lake, and I think I uh, can't see them being uh, knocked off first spot, Wayne. All right. Uh, the next match to, to cover is the one that uh, your boys, the Witcher Proof Narraport side, were over at uh, Donald uh, by the Richardson River, and uh, they were uh, absolutely blown out of the water, at, so to speak. Uh, Donald 27 12, 174 to Witcher Proof Narraport 5 7 37. Oh, they bent him like Beckham. They did uh, those Donald boys because he booted seven and Burke booted seven. They were magnificent on the day. Yeah, they were, Wayne. Yep, uh, very impressive. Um, they didn't miss the target around the ground all day through their midfield. And I reckon you would have kicked 10 if you were playing where Bex was, Wayne. So <laughs> um, don't pump him up too much. The ball was delivered uh, from their from their midfield, it was delivered uh, exactly where you wanted playing a forward. All he had to do was put his hands back and go back and kick over the man on the mark and uh, to get a few goals, which he did. So credit to him, he kicked them straight. Uh, Lee Burke at 10 half forward played really well. He's coming back from his hamstring and um, he'll be a force coming forward. They're just starting to hit their straps, Donald, and another break for them probably wouldn't be ideal. As that, uh, Talking to the coach after the game, he said, we've just the last couple of weeks starting to click. Ross Young, Wayne, would have had close to... Uh, it would have been north of 50 and close to 60 possessions. So uh, an elite elite player from um, the word go um, in juniors when he was under 14, you could tell he was going to be a great footballer and um, still to this day, yeah, still dominating North Central Footy League. So he was best on ground. Darcy Harrison on the wing with his left foot was uh, doing all the damage going into the forward 50. And Lee Burke, Beckham, these guys were really good. Um, for us, tough day at the office. Abdul Zook... Um, he gives a lot of run off the wing. Dave McLennan and Rowan Jones, um, yeah, were good for us. But it was pretty hard to pick six players for us, Wayne. Uh, Donald absolutely dominated. No, they did. I mean, going back to Ross Young there, I mean, this is a guy that's played six games at AFL level with Carlton and uh, played a lot of games down at the Northern Bull Ants. Um, and then over in Perth, um, been over there for a while. And he's won a Sandover medal. That is the best and fairest player in the waffle. So, I mean, we're talking here of uh, an elite player playing in uh, country football in um, the, the, our regional areas. So uh, just to, to hear his name and to see him best and to hear about the delivery to the forwards, uh, you can just sort of see the talent. I mean, he's getting long in his career now, probably in his late 30s, but what a what a star that he was on the weekend with Darcy Harrison, uh, who loves to chime in when the good things are going on. Birchall Botcham loved to chime in with a good win, 16-15 over Bort, 9-11, and you got to get them done, and they got that done at this time, Ricky. Yeah, they did, Wayne. It's good effort from Bort. Um, seven goals. Well, said Birchett would have lost and probably kicked a fraction straight. It could have been a little bit different. Um, yeah, but uh, Birchett getting it done and the same thing. They, you know, they've come off the win off Sea Lake and um, they just have to beat what's in front of them. They'll be looking to get uh, second spot back. It's, um, yeah, unsure of what how the year's going to pan out from here, Wayne. But um, if, uh, especially if we keep losing games, it gives them less of a chance to get that back. So. 
Um, they've just got to keep winning and to get that second spot. But at the end of the day, if you're good enough at the end of the year, it doesn't matter where you finish. So Ratcliffe kicking four. Will Sheen back from the Pioneers kick three. Jacob Christie three as well. So Lockie Foot, um, Steph Pye and Jacob Christie, the best for Birchip. For Bort, uh, Malone three. Padula two and Deary with one. Uh, Dealey, Cesari and Wilson, they're better players. So, um, yeah, well done to uh, Birchard watching. But it's been getting very tough for Bort to make it four, Wayne. I reckon you could nearly put a pencil through him. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a tough one uh, now. Castellano, just a couple of goals, and that just shows the depth that uh, they've got in goal kicking, uh, seeing another uh, three or four other players um, popping up and kicking fours and threes and that, so that they're not reliant on him alone, which is a good thing, particularly as we're heading towards the finals and a better series of taggers and so forth um, when you're playing the better clubs in finals footy. Looking at um, the other game, it was uh, the Battle of Wedderburn and St. Arnold. 9-11 for the uh, Redbacks. Too good for the uh, St. Arnold side, who got 8-6. Yeah, that's right, Wayne. Um, Wedderburn also ticking along all right, but they should have beaten St Arnold, and they did. They did what they had to do, and it's probably the margin, I would have thought, somewhere in the 10 to 15 goal region. So Benny DeRue's back. He's starting to kick a few bags. Wayne, which will get, you know, he's getting in form for the right time of the year. So eight goals for him, and it'll be interesting to see when he comes up against a Sea Lake or a Birchip, how he goes there. He's a, he's a big man. He'll get in the square, and he's a, got a good young side around him. So the young small forwards will just have to get to his feet because Ben doesn't lose too many contests um, you know, if he doesn't win it himself. So he was best on ground with eight. Joe Lockhart and Tom Campbell. Um, Tom at centre half forward would be really benefiting having a player like Ben uh, direct him around. So um, smart thinking there by Sam Barnes to get Ben back involved at the club. Uh, for Sonata, the best players were Lovers, Rogers and Brad Organ. So um, yeah, not a bad effort from Tanana, but probably what the scoreline um, that we're all thinking was, has come to fruition. Yeah, and they want to hold that second spot, and um, then the Holt boys are in good form for them. Uh, what about uh, this next round? Because um, without playing this weekend, if it gets delayed, uh, then the next round would be uh, that Donald would play Birchip, Bort would play Charlton, and uh, then Sea Lake would get uh, Sonata and Witcherproof get Wedderburn. But I reckon it's going to be interesting to watch Donald and Charlton over the next couple of weeks because then the week after, and again, not knowing where we're going with the, um, the release out of lockdown and what that might mean, but if we do get more matches, round 13 would be Charlton and Donald at Charlton. And uh, if Melbourne was still locked down, those players coming out of Melbourne would be a problem. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting times ahead. And, um, you know, we'll set up for a cracking game this weekend between Donald and Birchip. Um I was speaking to Donald after the game. They were ready for the test in terms of to see where they were at. They were testing themselves against, you know, one of the better sides in Birchip of the league. So uh, it would have been a really good match there. They're just starting to get all their recruits back, Donald, and getting them all fit and going. Vin Diddy, um, Young, Gross through the midfield. These guys are pretty handy players, Wayne. So with Donald, I think they're young kids. Um, for them to go deep in September, which they have the potential to do, their young kids have to stand up and play a part because the depth of Sea Lake and Birchett, they're 20, you know, their 9th, 20th, 21st player are all quality players, Wayne. So that's how Donald... Um, going forward, those young kids who perhaps in that bracket of, you know, 15 to 21 players, they really need to stand up and um, play their part because I can guarantee they're better, you know, their recruits who are in Melbourne, they will be standing up there, good footballers. Yeah, I, if Donald make it, don't, they could really shape it, that's for sure, and who knows they could uh, drive their way all the way into the finals contention uh, just getting their full side out of Melbourne and their uh, local players all uh, on the park and playing their best footy, they certainly showed last week against which you proved why they are somebody to be reckoned with, particularly with Ross Young in great form. Uh, look, uh, Ricky I'll leave it with you there and uh, you handle um, what comes your way as you generally do there uh, with the lockdown this weekend and I'll catch up with you next week, hopefully previewing a round of footy. Yeah, that's right, Wayne. I'm, um, you know, if Melbourne players aren't allowed to come back out to um, the league for a certain time, it will be interesting times. And there's a few players in the league who are starting to, you know, in the seconds, the locals who have uh, probably been playing seconds footy for a while have to stand up. So uh, Matt Ryan out of Birch has been kicking a lot of goals. So I reckon he would get a Guernsey for the Bulls, um, another option going forward. And Andrew Brett out of Wedderburn's another one. So couple of players there that if uh, Melbourne, the recruits out of Melbourne aren't allowed out, they'll probably be um, in line for selection, I would have thought. But, yeah, talk to you next week. Sounds good. Ricky Allen talking North Central footy.